Pressbox and the Sports Boosters have teamed up with the Zolid Leonard Group of Smith Barney Financial Advisors to present Shoes for Grades, awarding free athletic shoes to high school students who improve their grades by a full letter. Go to PressBoxOnline.com now for more information. Welcome back to Inside Press Box. Last Saturday, at long last, the Towson University men's basketball team broke their 41-game losing streak with a 66-61 win over UNC Wilmington. Earlier this week, I visited the Tigers during a practice session. I had the opportunity to catch up with head coach Pat Skiri. All right, I'm here with a little bit happier coach Pat Skiri. Got number one out of the way. What has this season been like from President Obama to national publicity over a losing streak that you had something to do with but not everything to do with? Um, it's it's been um, it's been interesting. Um, you know, you get your first road game at Kansas, which isn't the kindest environment. Your first home game, like you said, in front of the president and a lot of else in between. Uh, you know, the practices honestly have been great. Our guys have really worked hard daily. The games at times have been exasperating. Um, we've we've got some challenges, but we're getting better, Stan, and we just try to day by day to you know keep getting better. We've got other games we can win. If I'm a junior or a senior on this team right now, what's in it for me to play hard? Well, uh, the good thing is there's only one of you. There's one senior, Rob Nwanku. And um, I, I think well, he, he's been playing hard from the get-go. He's been great, I think, for a couple of reasons. One, he was academically ineligible last year. Now he, he's gotten back eligible. And two, um, he, he's, he's getting better every day. He knows he has a chance to play beyond college. So that hasn't been an issue at all. Tell us a little bit what it's been like in those practices. You know, I know you a little bit, uh, and I know you haven't had a problem being motivated. Has it been a problem at all with motivation? Uh, no, no. The biggest challenge, I think, with, with any young team, especially one that hasn't had success, is more getting them to sustain uh, concentration, communication. The effort piece has been pretty good. Uh, they're, they're a fairly resilient group, but we've got to learn how to sustain things, and, and that's, uh, that's the piece that's been most challenging. When you were uh, applying for this job and talking to Mike Waddell, you knew this was a challenge. Did you know it would be this tough this early? Um, I, you know, I think we've, you know, and, and I've got to take the fall for it. We, we gave up some games that we should have found a way to win earlier foul shooting, um, maybe we got away from some of our sets. Uh, you know, I, I knew we were in trouble in a couple of things. We, we had lost a guy to the clearinghouse at the end of the summer that was gonna, we thought was start in the Premier, and then um, we suspended Ray Polk for the year, who was our leading returning scorer in the backcourt. At that point, we were really thin, and, you know, some people forget we, uh, we beat Holy Family, a Division II team, in the last two minutes, uh, who's eight, who was 8-8 eight and eight about a week ago. And then we lost our second exhibition game to Virginia State, who was like 2-14 and 14 a week ago. So this team has gotten a lot better since then. Uh, but the level of play we're playing against is also a lot better. Now, I know that uh, Athletic Director Mike Waddell is supportive of you, no question about it, because he hired you. Your relationship with Rob Ambrose and seeing what he was able to do. I mean, his first two years here, 3-19, and 19, and he could talk a good game, but going out and winning nine or ten games a lot of difference have you taken some solace in that yeah no, no question first of all what, what they've done should be the college football story of the year um, Rob and his family and staff they went out of their way to be supportive and nice and they don't need to do that I'm appreciative for that forever will be uh, but obviously it's always encouraging to see someone in any sport turn something around quickly um, and, I, and I think that they've they stuck to their guns obviously we, we have an unbelievable administration in athletics and throughout the university so everybody's on the same page and you know there's an old saying that many hands make light work and, and I certainly think we're moving in that direction. Tell us a little bit about your staff. Obviously, it's gotten a lot of publicity lately that Luke Murray is Bill Murray's son. Tell us a little bit about the rest of your staff and have they had a hard time keeping their heads up? Through you know, this? My, my staff's been the best piece about this whole thing. Um, I like to pat myself on the back for that. You know, Kevin Clark is a pro. Uh, he recruited me out of high school. Uh, he's seen it all. He was the head coach at St. John's for a year when they went through some stuff. And then, you know, uh, Kenny Johnson, I, I think, is the, is the best recruiter. 
on the East Coast. Uh, we, we've got a, you know he's young, bright, and, and obviously Luke is is, a, is another guy that's got a terrific upside as a recruiter and a coach. And then Dwayne Simpkins is just an unbelievable guy to have around our players. He, he's going to be a very very successful head coach at some point. I've got a great video guy named Mike Sweats who was with, with us at Providence, a Boston College grad. So those guys have been pros, Stan. Honestly, every day. Uh, their effort's great, their attitude, and, and, and they've found ways to keep these guys improving daily. And tell me about the improvements daily. It's all going to come really long term in the recruiting battles, and how are you doing with that? Well, recruiting's went great. Um, you know, we've got two very good transfers sitting out, and, and Mike Burwell and Jarrell Benneman, and then obviously we've signed four very good players, you know, Jerome Hairston, Frank Mason, Barrington Alston, and, and Tamaj Parker, all guys that can step in right away for us. And, and we're going to keep recruiting to finish out the year. But some of our guys have gotten better too. Chris Walden, you know, freshman point guard's gotten markedly better. Javon Presley, a big center. Deion Jones had two double-figure rebound games last week. And then Marcus Damas is our leading scorer, only a sophomore kid we brought in at over 14 points a game. So those guys are going to be, you know, be good players. And Eric Gums is getting better too. He's only a sophomore. Is there something to be gained by winning more games this year? Is that critical to the confidence moving forward or not really? Um, no, well, we want to win every game. And I, I, what we need to be doing, and I hope we are doing, is, is what we do on a daily basis, defending, rebound, competing, skill work, that that lays a foundation to give you a chance to win every game. I think that's what good coaches and, and good programs do. They put their guys in a position by what they do daily to win every game. There's an old cliche, you learn something through adversity. What have you learned and what do you think your kids have learned through this rough season? Um, I, I think they've learned to keep fighting. That effort can never wane um, and, and, and that you know, you, you got to keep chopping wood daily to get where you want to get to. All right, there he is, still spirits high despite a tough run early this season. That's Pat Skiri, head coach, Towson University men's basketball team. Inside Press Box is presented by Friedman Mortgage. Don't make a 30-year mistake by choosing the wrong lender. Go to Friedmont.com now for all of your mortgage needs.